Okay guys, so when I'm looking at the solution for this problem, the first thing I would do is I will draft my form and I will name my text boxes. So I have my first text box that I named txt hours and this is where the name shows in the properties. The second one I call txt rate and its name shows in the properties and the last one I call txt gross pay and that's where its name shows. Then I double click on the button. When I double click on the button, I simply copy pasted the whole code that I had from the previous example right here. And I'm going to start to make some changes. Well, in the previous program, I had a double variable for hourly rate, double variable for hours work, double variable for gross pay. I was accepting an input from the console. Now in this program, I already have the labels done, so I do not really need these console prompts. So that's first thing that I will remove is my console prompts. I don't really need them. Now instead of doing console.readline, which is uh, reading the input from the user in a text form, I will now mention the name of my variables like op, I mean like my text boxes, sorry. So I'll mention the name of my text boxes. So I'm reading the input in the text hours text box, converting it into a double type, storing it into the double variable hours work. Similarly, I will take my other variable, which is txt rate dot text, take the value from the text box, convert it into a double value, store it into the hourly rate. So the way I bring the values into my variable will change between the form solution and the console solution. The calculation piece in the middle will stay untouched. There is nothing that will be changed in the if else block. Now the only change I will make is in my output. Instead of my output going to the console, now my output will go to the gross pay dot text equals to So the only input, the only change was how I bring in the value and how I throw the value out. The middle logic will stay the same because the middle logic uses variables and variables have not changed between the two solutions. So when I, when I now run this, it asks me for an input. Let's say if I enter 40 hours work at $10 per hour, I get 400. If I change this to 50, I should get 550, and that's exactly what I got in my console app. 